Hey guys, it's Clay with Minute Ministry, and so, uh, got a minute? I am uh, excited about this week. I've been thinking about this week for a while. I've got one last week before supposedly I can start editing videos again. And um, I've been thinking about how the depth of Scripture can be so much deeper than what we give it credit for. A lot of times we read a story through once, and we're like, okay, I got it. Um, you know, I can kind of tell that story again, but scripture goes so much deeper. So um, this week, I'm going to be pouring out um, or, or taking in one scripture in particular. It has two verses, and we're going to spend the whole week just breaking down interesting and new parts to this scripture. And this scripture is in Luke 22. It's verses 31 and 32. And it's where Jesus is about to, you know, face um, his crucifixion he's he's going through and he's talking to um, Peter and he says uh, Simon Simon behold Satan demanded to have you that he may sift you like wheat but I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail and when you have turned again strengthen your brothers this scripture is awesome because there is a lot going on and if you first think about it we see that Jesus says hey I prayed for you and I pray that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, Jesus already knew the outcome of this. He still prayed for Peter. Um, he prayed that his faith wouldn't fail, that even through his struggles, even through all this crap that he has done and through all the stuff that, that hurt him, you know, like through this, whenever he sees Jesus on the cross and knows that he's denied him, he said, look, I, I prayed that your faith wouldn't fail because of your failure, that your faith wouldn't suffer because of it, that you would remember that I am a loving, loving rabbi, that I am a loving savior, and that your failure in your faith is not going to be the tipping point on whether or not I'm going to accept you. I have prayed for you. And so this, this is the first level that I want to go with this. Jesus knows our failures. And he knows our failures even before we fail. And he still made a choice. And he made that choice to carry that cross. In this moment, Jesus is about to carry the cross. And he says, Peter, look, when you know this is over, I've prayed that your faith doesn't fail. And when you've come back, when you've come back, right? So he knew the outcome. He knew that Peter was going to fail. He knows our failures. And he still decided, he still chose in love to pick up that cross and carry it. To, to go and to die on the cross. So it doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you're going to do. That if you don't let your faith be broken, right? Don't let it fail. Allow God's love to be able to pour inside of you. And don't doubt that. Don't doubt that God loves you whenever you mess up. That's what I see here. Peter, Peter is such a perfectionist. He's a person that says, hey, look, I need to do right. God, I love you more than all the rest of these. God, I'm here. And Jesus knows that this failure, it could destroy Peter. And he says, look, I've prayed that your faith doesn't fail. So guys, I don't know what mistakes you've made. It doesn't really matter. God's saying, put your faith in me. I'm excited for this week. Be looking out. All right, we'll be back in this scripture again tomorrow. All right, thanks for taking a minute.